Well, everyone, it's been a long time coming, to say the least, okay? All those times I've been begging people to send me something, we finally got Google. They actually sent me out the Pixel 4, which is actually really surprising. I'm super humbled, and I'm following their rules. You know, I'm not going to go out, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to wild on them or anything. So even though I'm doing the unboxing right now, I'm going to follow through and not do the comparisons or the reviews until their embargo lifts. So wait a couple of days for those full comparisons, but they said I can unbox it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it for you guys. I'm super excited. Now, this is the first time I've ever been sent a phone, I think, by a company, and I think this is going to be the only time because the Pixel 4, you know, I'll be honest, based off what everyone's been saying about it and what I've seen personally, I don't know how I feel about it, but even though I got this for free from them, I'm not going to like base my opinion because it's free. I'm going to, you know, go through the opinion of this phone being the $7.99 price tag that it is. So I don't know if this is the Pixel 4, or the Pixel 4 XL, but we'll find out once we open it. So this is the unboxing experience. I think this is only for people who got the, you know, the launch day phone or whatever. So as you can see, we have the phone right here, which I'll unbox in a second. I guess they have something else down here. I think a wireless charger or something. Oh, they actually threw in a case, dude. Oh my god, dude. These guys are so beautiful, man. Sh shout out to the- Oh, there's something else in here, too. Oh, no, never mind, dude. This box is mad heavy, though. So they threw in a case. You know, they're freaking beautiful. I love them so much. And this is the phone itself. Okay, so I don't know how. I'm not really good with unboxings. Oh, you gotta unseal it. Okay. And believe it or not, these same people, you know, obviously Google, the people who sent me this, or they're marketing people. They were going to send me out the last, the Pixel 3a and the 3XL, but I didn't think they were the real people. <laughs> so I didn't give them my info, but then uh, they turned out to be the real people. So then I bought the Pixel 3a anyway, I was spending my own money, but. All right, tape is out, phone is unboxing. And you can see that, dude, I think this is, I don't know if this is the Pixel 4 or the 4XL. Maybe this is just the 4. I'm pretty sure it's just the 4. And as you can see, unboxing it, I will tell you, okay, it definitely feels much more heavier than I thought it was going to be. It definitely has some heft to it. Let's go ahead and seal it if we can. Okay, this paper, you know, it's definitely not the smoothest. It definitely isn't as premium, I would say, as Apple's unboxing experience straight from the jump. But the phone definitely has some heft to it, okay? Well, that was pretty interesting in and of itself. Let's go ahead and boot this thing on if we can. Let's see. Okay, so it does. So we're going to... Man, that thing's bright. Straight from the initial impressions that I'll tell you, I definitely do like the way this phone looks. It looks a lot like the Pixel 2 XL, but the one thing you're missing are those two front-facing speakers. That's really kind of, you know, messing with me, but I'll leave this to the side. Let's go and get to the opening of the rest of it. And you can see we have some paperwork in here. We have, you know, paperwork probably nobody's going to look at. We have the charging cable right here, USB Type-C. So that's cool. Oh, the USB Type-C to USB Type-C. We have USB Type-C to USB-A right here, which is so nice. I'm glad they throw one of these things into it. Then we have the huge charging block, which is so nice of them for adding in, you know, fast charger. And that's pretty much it. There's no headphones they threw in here. A lot of people were upset about that. I'm kind of upset about that too. I don't remember if the Pixel 3a or the Pixel 3 or 3 XLs had, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Now, looking around this phone, what I'll tell you is, let me go ahead and move some of this stuff around. I'll tell you, the phone doesn't feel like a cheap phone at all, okay? The back... You know what, even though this, this is definitely glass, it is like a texture somewhat similar to like the matte and gloss finish on the iPhone 11 Pro. I think this feels a little bit more better in my hands. I've always said the 11 Pro feels a little weird, but I will say the chassis of the phone does not feel that premium, unfortunately. I have a Pixel 3 XL right here, the one with the weird notch, and this chassis feels much more premium than this one, which, like I've stated before, if we're moving in the future, we need better parts. Not only better parts, but we need, you know, bigger batteries, we need better screens, we need all of that. And the chassis of the phone is just one of those things where I'm like, you know, they probably, you know, nobody's probably going to mess with it too much, they're going to put a case on it. But I feel like that's one thing where the build quality could have probably been better here. The buttons feel pretty premium in and of itself. But the 3XL definitely felt more premium on the chassis. But the back of the phone definitely feels better on the Pixel 4. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the Pixel 4 XL, right? Let me let me double check this. I'm going to go through the initial setup. I'm just going to skip everything for now. Oh, oh my God. Dude, that 90 hertz refresh rate, I'm going to be honest, is so nice. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we're here. Let's go ahead and get to settings real quick. I feel like I can figure this out just by even like opening up the, the little manual thing. So what is the Pixel 4 XL? Wow, they are so nice for sending me one of these. Wow. <laughs> And I'll have my, you know, full in-depth review coming out very soon. Let me turn this brightness on so no bit. And what I can tell you from first glance is that screen is probably one of my favorite things ever. The OnePlus 7 Pro had the same type of screen layout. And that's one of my favorite things about any type of phone. And other than that, there's really nothing that screams to me like any problems or anything like that so far. Really, the battery was the only issue. But this is the 4XL, so I'm curious to see how this one holds up. And it's funny because they told me they were sending me a Pixel 4, not a 4XL. But there's really not too much of a difference, really. I will be doing full in-depth comparisons, whatever in-depth, one-depth, whatever, between the Pixel 4 and all those other Pixels, the Pixel 3s. 
I have the Pixel 2 and the original Pixel right here as well. So I'm going to be doing full comparisons between all of them, guys. Don't even worry about it. And I have all those new iPhones too. So I'm going to be comparing them, man. It's going to be a fun little ride. I feel like all I've been doing these last like couple like months are just been comparisons, but there's been so many phones that have been coming out. So, you know, you can't blame a bro for doing that. But these are my initial thoughts. You know, nothing too crazy. Full reviews coming soon, all that stuff. But if you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.